14th January 2021, a day when the chances of many cabinet ministers returning to parliament came crashing down. One after another, losing to new politicians, some who were engaging in politics for the first time. Vice President Edward Chiwanuka Sekandi, who is the Bokoto Central MP, leads the losers list. Because we had a lot of challenges, the army was around, they were giving out sugar, they were giving out money, they were doing very many things. But we didn't mind, we were determined and we were focused and we got, I beat him by 5,000 votes and nothing could change. Other political casualties include Minister for Trade, Industry and Cooperatives, Amelia Chambade, who is the Maokota North MP, Wakiso Woman MP and State Minister for Primary Education, Rosemary Seninde, her higher education counterpart and Bamunanika MP, John Krizisto Moyingo, Kalungu East MP and Agriculture Minister, Vincent Bamulanga Chisempija, State Minister for Microfinance and Chotera MP, Haruna Kasolo, as well as State Minister for Welo Triangle and Busiro North MP, Dennis Galabuzi Sozi. Uh, this victory is uh, heroic to an extent. People have trusted me. NRM has spent a period of 25 years in the constituents. So that means we are yearning for a leader of opposition who can take on NRM. Of the age limit. Million, these ones were given about 250 million to change. Everyone knows that. To change the age limit, they beat up people in parliament. <sighs> this, we cannot allow that. But now, the force is going to be higher. We are young and energetic. If it means standing on those tables, we are going to step on them. He's been a pompous guy. The way he does his things, the way he, he talks about himself, wielding a lot of power and money and everything. But for us, we remain focused. We were focused. We, we, we kept on advising. I mean, kept on talking about the right things. I mean, the, the issues. Depending on what we give in, let's also have a better shape. So, in summary, where I'm going to start from is to talk to other leaders who I'm with in Parliament, not only those whom I've been elected with, but more so to see that we get a better share. In the presidential election, President Yoweri Museveni obtained over 58.6%, followed by Robert Chagulanyi, garnering 34.8%, and his support concentrated in central region. According to the NRM party's vice chairman for Eastern Region, Captain Mike Mukula, Chagulanyi's win in Central Region, where he comes from, was a sign of tribal politics. It was now as if it was Buganda versus the rest of Uganda, when you look at the satellite view. This is a very fundamental equation. And it appears that tribalism is starting to emerge, or it is now increasing and showing its ugly head. This is something that the people of Uganda will definitely reject. Edward Mhumza, NTV.